Hello Virgo, welcome to my channel, Wing Spiritual Clarity. My name is Wendy Wing. I'm doing your weekly zodiac reading, tuning into the week's energies, seeing what divine messages of guidance come through. If you would like a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below. All right, Virgo, let's get to it. In the past, we have the Knight of Wands in reverse. This is very um, inconsistent energy. This is someone who's, oh, I'm, I'm definitely getting a player vibe. Someone who feels uh, their, the intimacy they seek is physical intimacy. They, they don't really know how to achieve emotional or mental intimacy, spiritual intimacy. It's physical intimacy that they're interested in. Um, they're very erratic. Looks like this energy is not making plans. It's hard to strategize or make plans with this energy. I feel like they, because they don't know how they're going to feel in the future. This might be your energy as well. Maybe in the future you moved more on like how you feel in the moment instead of making plans. So I don't know how I'm going to feel this Friday. I'm not going to know how I feel two weeks from now. So it's really hard for me to make plans because I'm inconsistent. I'm flying by the seat of my pants. There's something that can be very exciting about that type of energy, but it's immature. You can't plan with this energy. It's, it's frustrating. It's hard to uh, strategize with. They're very combative. They bring a lot of drama because of this inconsistency. Because they're constantly, it feels like, uh, falling short. Because of this inconsistency, they're... You can't depend on this person, so drama does follow them. And they make very split-moment decisions because they have a feeling that they follow. And um, and so it, it draws a lot of people into this energy. Might even, yeah, the player energy. It's three of swords, a lot of heartbreak because... You know, I'm, I'm, this person is like, I, I felt, a, I felt a feeling and I went after it. <laughs> so you can't, any agreements that you make with this person, it feels like the agreements are, um, they'll keep the agreements as long as they don't have a feeling or a desire that contradicts them. It feels like this person is ruled by their desires. Makes them wildly unstable. Yeah. Yeah. All right. In present energy, we have death and rebirth in reverse. That scorpionic energy but there's a lack of change. A lack of transformation. Something's repeating. There's no rebirth here. Feels like there's, there's someone coming in with unwanted messages about someone who hasn't transformed. It looks like you're heeding the calling. You're having a new beginning. 
So I'm tuning in to someone who is not having, who, who can't or won't transform. And it feels like that person has a lot to say about your new beginning. You've got this amazing new beginning. It feels like a calling. You're independent. You're doing really well. Or at least that's how others are perceiving you. feels like this person wants to come in. This person who hasn't tr transformed feels like this player from your past. Very inconsistent. They want to get you in your emotions. It's like they, they know what to say. I feel like this person wants to come in and, and get you in your emotions so they can kind of like bring you back into their world view. But you've already moved on. You've moved past this. You're, you're not interested in their games. I feel like they might be trying to throw you a bone. Wink, wink, wink. As well. And you're just like, no. I, I know where this leads. There, it's just... Um, I, I even feel from you the when this person comes in trying to kind of pull you back into uh, an old cycle, um, like it, it's not even an option. It's not even close. You just you know too much. You're too independent now. And you can trust yourself. You are someone who is trustworthy. You've matured. You've moved so far away from this old way of being. And it doesn't, it's not even close to being a desire. This is the second time the chariot's shown up in your reading. So that's uh, cancer energy. Maybe July is significant for you. All right, Virgo. Messages from your higher self, the chariot. Yeah, you've overcome a lot of obstacles, both within yourself and in the 3D world. You might literally be moving. You might be moving or vacation somewhere else moving on all right so what do we need to know about the chariot what does virgo need to know about the chariot it's like i'm i'm moving away from anything that's sad and where there's a lack of joy a lack of happiness a lack of um there's a difference. I feel like you're wanting, you've got a childlike quality, which is very different than being childish. And I think that you're the person who we've been tuning into is childish, immature. And there's a, a huge difference between childish and childlike. It looks like you're moving right into someone who, there is someone here who has loving feelings for you. They, it's interesting. I feel like this person realizes you've been through some stuff. And so, and yet they still there's some guardedness that you have a quality Virgo of of guarded around your heart maybe but this person is is willing sees sees the brutality that you've been through feel like it almost pains this person that someone would treat you that way wow Boy, this, this person really 
cares about you, does not want you to, yeah, this person wants to help you end this painful cycle and create something lasting, something real. Boy, there, there's something, this is big. This person, whether this person stays or not, this is someone who sees you, sees your value, sees how others have mistreated you. And it's almost like they, they want to take every sword out, every wound, and it's almost like, and heal that. Like, let's, let's have fun instead. Let's heal this. Wow. All right. Virgo, your challenge this week is the five of swords. Yeah. This your challenge is to not engage with five of swords energy with whoever this bully is mentally manipulative they want to control you they don't want you to have what you want they want you to do what they want you to do they want to control you they want to have power over you they want to lord over you you can't negotiate with this energy you can't change it you can't convince this energy and anybody in it of your value and your worth they yeah it is you know they don't want to change this is the playground they want to play in and you can't take them out of that at least in this energy all right what's hidden is the nine of swords i don't think people realize how difficult this has been for you to move away to um you've had to overcome your own mind your own mindset This has taken an incredible amount of strength to pick a different way of, of perceiving your world, choosing your thoughts. It's been terrifying and scary. And you've been doing this by yourself. I don't think anybody realizes what you've gone through to get to move towards your soul fulfillment to move towards not just your own personal fulfillment but you want real lasting love and instead what you got was someone who's very inconsistent and childlike that you can't make plans with because they're not going to mature a lot of drama, a lot of conflict, a lot of not putting you first, you putting your, this person first and this person putting you second, third, last. It's been a nightmare. I don't think anybody realizes. I just want to say it over again. I, I see you. I get it. This, is, this has been a fucking nightmare. Look at you. Look at you going for love and a loving connection, willing to shift so much within you, to trust that calling and to go into the fear of being alone. I'd rather be alone. I'd rather, rather fight that fear of being alone than be in this type of connection you're leveling up you're becoming so because your ability to nurture yourself and heal yourself and being deciding on what you want for you you're you're creating this I'm hearing the powerhouse, your powerhouse. 
feels like you're co-creating with the earth as well. A lot of very real energies. I'd rather be real. I'd rather be in a real world scenario and be nothing. I, I don't know. There's something here. You're you're making up. You're deciding who you are and taking a place in this world. I'm getting like um um you're someone really to be reckoned with. No more sneaking around, no more deception, no more um trying to hide even you hiding from, you know, you're you being very authentic about how you move and who you are. And I don't think very many people see what you've gone through, why you're doing it, and who you've become. That's something to celebrate, Virgo. That's amazing. All right, your opportunity is the page of cups in reverse. When there's a lack of a loving, lack of loving messages, a lack of, okay, okay, there's an opportunity in unloving messages, not being able to move something forward, something stuck. It looks like you're building your foundation. Right now, it's less about about moving something forward as much as it's like creating the foundation of what you want, the foundation of who you are. That's more, it's the foundation of who you are. You're not going to gloss over this and, and move quickly into taking action. It, it's not sexy building a foundation but when you build a building, you might want to get to the sexy parts, like putting the, you know, when the walls come up, slapping that roof on. That's, that's like fun part of building a building. The foundation takes so much time and so much engineering and thoughtfulness and the soil has to be correct and, um, and you really don't see the foundation when you look at a building. So it's not sexy. What you see, what other people see are those walls and how high it is and the, the roof. So this is not sexy work, but it's necessary. I'm focusing on who I am going forward. Of course, this can change, but I need the foundations, like my values. I'm getting very clear about what my values are moving forward. It looks like you're also looking for someone who has similar values, who wants to build in a similar way as you, like a, a power couple Someone who's loyal and consistent because of all of this inconsistency here in the first part of your reading. You, and it, it's like, I'm not going to accept anything else, anything less. And I'm definitely not going to accept any type of lies or moving forward in illusion. This is, I realize this takes time and this isn't the sexy work, but this is important and it's important to you. And so period. <laughs> All right, Virgo. Um, the possible outcome this week is the 10 of wands in reverse. You're releasing your burdens feel like you're you're releasing a lot of I'm not responsible who you're responsible for yourself and who you are not responsible for and I feel like you're releasing you know it's it's not whoever this is it's not your job 
This isn't, this has been exhausting. This person is exhausting. This relationship is exhausting. I'm letting go of mental manipulation and oh boy. And um, someone who's not nurturing, not loving, dependent. They pretend to be very loving. I get the feeling that this person has two very distinctive, it's like they they have a, uh, a persona that everyone else sees and then the people that are closest to this person really see how, how cruel this person is. There's no love here. This is someone who wants to control um, there's quite possibly a toxic mother wound here that this person has. This person it feels like they 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 didn't get what they wanted from their mom. Their mom. There's some mother wounds there, and so maybe neglect as well from their mom. like you're letting go of I I can't handle I no longer am going to be burdened by mental manipulation and this people who are just not going to change they don't want to change they don't want to evolve they don't want to grow they won't I've been assuming that we both want to grow but they don't oh my god they, they they're never going to change that came up at the at the present energy, a lack of transformation. This person is not going to change. And again, they're not changing. They're not ending the cycle. And you're moving on to Four of Wands energy, celebration, joy, co-creating with others in joy, with passion and excitement. People you who can meet you at this new level that you have and are achieving independence being mature taking care of yourself enjoying taking care of yourself not it looks like you've you've moved through a lot of those fears of being alone and lonely and have embraced independence and with that you are more dependable and are attracting others who want to build with a foundation with you. This looks really good. It it feels like a, a lot of sifting and sorting that you're still doing around kind of separating and going in this new direction. But this all this is fantastic, Virgo. So all right, that's your reading for this week. If you're still watching, uh then hit that like button. Where is it? Right here. Right here. No, huh? just just hit it. Just click, click. Oh, click. That would really help me out. That would be a an amazing energetic exchange here. Me doing this reading. You hitting the like button. If you do like these readings, if you like this reading and you haven't already, subscribe. I do the weekly zodiacs. I do a daily collective. Uh, energetic reading and on the weekends the daily readings are a love reading and a business finance reading so a lot here to explore so all right I hope that was helpful take care Virgo bye